What's up guys, this is going to be a quick little video of the L.L. Bean Peacoat that they just released. Um, I believe they're replacing the old ones that were the authentic, made by Sterling Ware. Um, so this is a new coat I got. It only comes in the one color for now. This is a large, tall, 100% um, wool. It's lined with thin slit, as you can kind of see there. Just kind of the general look of the that. Here's the button. Uh, it's kind of like hangs off the coat a little bit. If I can get it in focus there. Really nice buttons. Um, nice, a lot of thick thread. You can see once it comes in focus. Um, it's good stuff. Um, it's good stuff. And then next, I think we're going to try to get a shot of the fabric. It's definitely wooly. Compared to the other one, I had like an 80 20, 80 wool. And it was, um, this one's much more wooly, but I've gotten used to it. It feels, feels really good. Um, just some shots of just the inside lining. The inside lining is like a little, it's not really silky. It's more like, um, I don't know, it's its more like, it kind of feels cheap, I guess, the inside lining. Um, <laughs> it's not bad, it's fine, maybe it's tough, um, but it kind of feels a little cheap. Um, you can kind of see there that there's two um, inside buttons. Um, those are inside, I don't even know what those are for, so I don't know if they're extra, I don't think they're extra. Um, because there's also outside buttons right there. Yeah, so like I said, this is a large tall. Um, I'll put this in the thing too, but I'm 6'2", um, 140 pounds, so I usually get tall stuff now if I can. This one fits really well, so um, you can kind of see it's got an inside pocket. Um, it's got that inside button right there. Um, just one inside pocket. Um, Like I said, I kind of looked for, um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description, but the uh, the guys on the style forum, there's the Mega Peacoat thread. Um, they helped me with some fitting stuff when I returned my original one I ordered. This one was a little more. Um, I had actually, with coupons and everything, got the Sterling Wear coat for about 150 bucks. This one I got for about 200. They're normally like 260 or 279. Um, I bought a 20% code on eBay and then got a $10 gift card and stuff. So. Uh, that's a shot of the who it's being made by, B Bellondi. Um, it says Italy. I googled it. I saw some other stuff um, that they make, but really hard to find. So I don't think it's it's not some major company. Nothing like you know like what we were seeing with Sterling Wear, and clearly not made in America anymore. Um, I'm just trying to get a shot there of the thin slit tag. Apparently that's supposed to add warmth. Um, they said when I called and asked the difference between their old one and this one, they said that this one has insulation like it's going to be warmer. Um, I think that's questionable um, whether or not it's actually warmer because that the, the last one from Sterling Wear was really thick. Um, this one this one feels more pliable, which I like. Um, so this one I was showing the lapel. I really like the lapel, the lapel better on this coat than the than the Sterling Wear coat. I also like that this one has no padded shoulders, which I'm showing right here. The Sterling Wear, they said they didn't have padded shoulders. Um, L.L. Bean said it. Nothing said it, but it definitely had padding. Like I, it looked super boxy on me. And if you're interested, I can send pictures of that, or I can link um, to pictures of me in the Sterling Wear coat. Um, it's the same one you would get. You can still get from Sterling Wear. It's just the L.L. Bean. I don't know if they're selling them or not anymore, um, or if they were just out of stock at this moment in time or not. But I really like the lapel better because the um, <clears throat> on the authentic the lapel is really big and it's not pointy. It's it's more round where I'm pointing right now. Like it's more rounded. Um, the collar is like bigger. Um, I, I just didn't like it. I, I know that's the traditional. Um, I believe anyways, but. Um, I just didn't like it. I was pointing out right there. I think that's about like four inches maybe um, of the like of the size from the lapel or the collar. Um, that's kind of just a general shot of the coat. Um, this one's also supposed to be more fitted than the authentic, they said. Um, it actually says on the description like trim or, or fitted or something. I'm not a, a, a tiny guy, so I didn't want super, super fitted. Uh, so this is a shot of me with uh, the coat on. Um, these are just some regular jeans. This is an extra large, tall t-shirt from Old Navy. Um, it's a little longer, about two inches apparently. So I kind of wanted to show that the coat actually does cover, at least this one is a large, tall. This is me with one button. Um, I also like that this coat doesn't look terrible when 
it's unbuttoned. It doesn't look terrible like the uh, the Sterling wear I had had gotten before did not look right at all when it was unbuttoned. Like it was like really bad. This one's passable. Like I, I don't feel embarrassed if it's unbuttoned. Obviously it looks better buttoned, but this is my dodgy um, face blurring here. <laughs> uh, this is all three buttons. Um, you know the best way to do it. Kind of see it. I mean I think it fits really well. Um, I definitely size down. Obviously, I have an extra large shirt. Like I said, I buy extra large shirts, period, um, and they fit to a T. Uh, this is a large coat, so I would definitely size down, even though it's this one's more trim. Um, I can send you more information or send measurements if you're the same size as me or the same size as this coat. I can send you them. I think the pit to pit was like 49 inches, 49 and a half. I, I normally wear like a 48 regular. Maybe I should start wearing a, a long. I don't know. Just shown right here that um, when I lift my arms, the, the pits are pretty close, so no big sag there. That's with the collar popped. Obviously, looks cool, um, but I try not to pop the collar unless it's cold, so that I have an actual reason. If somebody asks me, <laughs> definitely looks cool though. And that's it for the video. Um, thanks for watching. You don't have to subscribe. I don't make many videos. I, I really just, when I was looking for coats and looking at this coat, there's not a lot of reviews because it's their new one, I think. There's only nine at the time on the website. So I just wanted to make a video that way. If you're looking at buying it, you can kind of check it out and see. Um, other than that, take it easy.